Hi everybody, I think we are on. Okay, I'll do my little usual setup as people get on here. Just make sure, yep, okay, perfect. Alrighty. Excellent, okay, so I know I changed the time. We used to be at Tuesdays and now we are Wednesdays at two. So I know it doesn't uh, work with everyone's schedules, but you can always catch the replay. Um, and I also post them now on my YouTube channel. So if you can't watch live, you can still watch. Um, so, hi, I'm Christine Josty of Mail Something Pretty, and I wanted to make some rainbow cards today. And I'm gonna show you a couple tricks that I have discovered using the, um, I think it's called the Rainbow of Happiness dies. All right, so I guess we'll get right into it. Um, it's March, right? So it's almost April, and with, um, rain showers and clouds and sunshine I thought it might be almost rainbow season so um so that's what I thought so I have a couple samples to show you and I am going to flip the screen actually I'm going to say I'll say this now and then I'll say it again at the end um I am running a mystery host party um until tomorrow so what that means is if you place an order with me and I have a host code that I'll show you if it's going to be yeah, you can't see it. Sometimes I forget if it's going to be, I'll show it again if it's going to be backwards or not. Um, so if you place an order with me by the end of tomorrow, you'll be entered in to be the mystery host or hostess. So what that means is um, after all the orders are in, I will uh, randomly, I might have my son, just pick a name out of the hat and um, that person will be the hostess. And so you'll get all the Stampin' Rewards whatever is um, all those orders that are pulled together. I think as of right now, we have about $33 in Hostess rewards and I'm hoping to get that much higher and it would be great if we can even get it high enough that you get a 50% off item. So that is what's going on now. So I just saw, excellent, hi Tracy. Uh, we have someone watching. I'm gonna flip the camera and we're gonna make some rainbows. So give me a second here. I always do this crooked so let's see if I can get it I need to spin and then I'll just check with my screen on my laptop all right so I'm gonna pull this down a little bit so you can see a little bit more of my workspace and then I think we are good to go so I'm actually gonna put that the um, host code for that mystery host party perfect so you can see it so when you if you place an order before the end of tomorrow, you get entered into being the mystery host, but you need to use this host code um, and that will kind of put everything together. Hi, Kim, thanks for joining. Excellent, so we have live people. It's much more fun when there's people watching live. Um, so we are going to, I'm gonna make a couple of rainbow cards, but um, this is the first one. And I wanted to show you a trick of getting all these rays kind of nice and straight. <laughs> at least a trick that I discovered. Um, so the stamp set is, um, which I didn't, I used a little bit, is the Rainbow of Happiness and the dies are um, messy in my container, but they uh, coordinate. So this is where they are in the January through June catalog. That is the stamp set and there are the dies and they're bundled together to save 10%. And there's a couple samples. And then, just so you, you probably know this, but if you go all the way back to the uh, ends of the catalogs, both catalogs, the annual and the uh, occasions, they have a new, oh, it's, it's probably about a year old, a new section of all the bundles. And they show you the bundles together, but they have other samples, which is kind of cool. So this is the other sample that they used for the rainbow. So I just want to point that out in case you don't ever read to the back. There's extra samples to look at. Alrighty, I lost my card already, here we go. Okay, so that is the card we're going to make. Move some things around. Oh great, so a whole bunch more people on, awesome. Hi Susan, hi Debbie, Tracy, oops. You'll have to explain. Um, so great, I love having more people on. And if you're brand new to watching my um, lives, be sure to tell me and I can greet you and say hello and welcome. All right, so. I have some things pre-cut. I'm just gonna use a thick white um, card base. I have a couple of my rainbow pieces cut, but I wanna show you how I cut them. So I want those two. Actually, 
I'm going to use my mini machine. Uh, one, because all the dice fit this machine and it's it works better on my little workspace here because I have a smaller space. But also, um, there's two days left of this being 20% off. So instead of $60, it's $48 um, as part of that 20% off um, National Crafting Month sale. Um, there's a bunch of bundles of 20% off as well. So this, I thought, $48 is a great deal for this because you might as well save. All right, so what I'm going to do is get my plates in here. I'm going to open up my dies, and I'm going to use, so the die comes, it's like a half a rainbow, right? It's just showing you half, and so that's what I used. But I kind of like the half. I was trying to figure out if you could use the whole thing, because you could do it, it's too big for the card. See how it overlaps, and if you flipped it over, it's too big. So you really just need to use half. So um, I have Poppy Parade, and I'm just going to cut the whole thing. So I measured my paper to be a little bit bigger than my die, and it's just going to cut out the whole ray. And really, I want this big one. Okay. And a little trick that I'm going to show you with the mini machine, because sometimes it, it, um, when you start cranking, it doesn't... Um, it doesn't catch you need them to be offset so hopefully you can see like I have the white plate and I have a clear plate that's level but then this one goes down a little bit for some reason it catches better when you don't have them all of them and aligned don't know why so that's just scrap but you can certainly use you know if you use the negative image which you're actually going to um, for something else but those are the rays so I already cut out a few more so I want for this rainbow the biggest one and then these guys I'm gonna save I have a little bucket you can see these are all different rainbow rays that um, we'll use for later but if you wanted like I got four of those poppies and I don't really necessarily need four of those poppies so here is one trick if you wanted to just say, I just wanted the blue of this little one, you can flip the die. You can cut it, like usually we cut it with a um, teeth going down, but you can certainly cut it with a teeth going up. Um, so I'm just going to cover that uh, last ray. That's the one I want to cut blue. And I could guess, you know, I could try to guess doing it that way, but sometimes I guess wrong. So this way I know that that's covered up. And then if I put this on, oh, see, I didn't line it up. Ah, oh, my mat's moving. All right. How come that one worked so good the first time? Here we go. With a little leverage. My mat is slippery, <laughs> so that doesn't help. All right, so see how it just cut? Of course, it slipped, but it just cut this piece that I wanted right here. So that's a trick you can use, not necessarily just for the rainbow dies, but you can use it for anything. If you wanted, if you had a die, some of them are big, and you only want like a flower, you just cover, just do it so the teeth are up, and just cover over whatever section you want with a paper, and you can cut it. All right, we're gonna do a cut one more piece here. So on the this card, it has this nice border, and so that is included with the dies. So I have a strip of Daffodil Delight, and then I have, um, I cut it at three quarters inches. So it's gonna cut just the scallop section. So I just wanna have a little bit of a border on my left side. And actually, I think it might be longer than I need, so I'll just trim it at the end. And then you can see I have some washi tape. That one kind of came off. So I like to, when I have like long dies, and because they can move, just stick some washi tape or um, painter's tape or masking tape down. You can put that on there, and that helps. Ugh, my mat is moving. All right, come on. This is like the only drawback I think with this mini machine is sometimes it doesn't catch. 
otherwise it's perfect. And of course, it does it on live TV. Oh, come on. And I need this piece. So I'm determined to cut it. Good thing I have the washi tape down because otherwise it would have moved too much. Let's slide this down. All right, I just slid that down a little bit. There we go. Oops. Okay, it was an offset rate. Right? That's the one, I will tell you, that's like, I think the one drawback of this little one is it sometimes doesn't catch. But again, if you have them offset, it should work. And you don't have a slippery mat you're working on, it works even better. Okay, so then I have my piece. The washi tape doesn't, it sticks enough, but it doesn't stick too much. I say that and it's stuck because I ran it through so many times. Okay, and I'm gonna trim it. I think we're done with that. Okay, I think this needs to be, let's see, five and a quarter. Yeah, it's too long. All right, so there we go. Oh, actually, we need to use the machine one more time. This is actually for the most important part. And I realized, all right, let's not lose these pieces. I did not cut this the right size. This needs to be four inches wide. Oh shoot. Four inches is not gonna fit in my mini machine, is it? Okay. Well. Okay. I knew the die would fit. I went, oops. Those come off. That's okay. <laughs> okay, see later. All right. Talk about all oh, oops, Tracy. You wrote oops. You were right. You were predicting things for me. All right. I'm going to hide my old machine here. I'm going to use that. And let me make sure. Yep. My new machine is downstairs. And I haven't used this in like forever. I'll make sure I have the right pieces. I think I need one more piece. Okay. Whew. All right. So, uh, it's been like two years since I've used this one. All right. This is an entertaining video today. All right. So, whatever machine you're using, not the mini, because this piece. The die fits in the mini, but not the paper. Mental note. I'm going to cut this piece like that. Oh, this one feels so different after using the stamp and cut machine. Okay. But it works the same. All right, so then I have these rays. So now I have, this is what I want. I can use these white pieces for another project. I'm gonna show you one that I did use the white. All right, my thick white base. This I'm just going to glue down right on top with my glue, okay. Um, I haven't done glue here, but you could, but I haven't, I haven't found that it was necess necessary. All right, so now what I, I could have just used just a plain white and glued those down easy enough, but I know me and I probably wouldn't have um, gotten them straight or have the middle straight. So by having this template here that they just fit right in, right? Cause it's the same die. So they're same size pieces. So I'm just going to put them right in these slots and that way, um, they fit and they'll be all perfectly straight. So I'll do that with all of my 
pieces. And then the blue one. So a lot of times I do my rainbows backwards. For some reason, my daughter always pointed it out to me. I would do like the blue on the outside and then the purple and then red would always be in the middle. But apparently rainbows aren't that way. They go this way. Okay, so now that it's like nice and neat and crisp and in alignment. And then we'll just put this piece on. I should trim that a little bit. All right, so we have that, and then we'll just stamp a little. I'm gonna use Happy Birthday. I need some birthday cards. I love um, the script of this Happy Birthday and the Thanks so much. And this Sweet as a Peach is actually one of the. You can see how much I use it. This is one of the stamp sets that is 20% off until tomorrow. Um, I think it's worth it just for those two. I, I use these a lot. I'm going to do that in Poppy Parade. I'm going to let that dry for a second. And then I'm just gonna use scissors. I could use the trimmer, but I'm just gonna use scissors. And I'm just gonna pop that right up. With some dimensionals. Oops, these are dry ones. There you go. And then, yeah, here's the other one I did. Oh, we need to clouds. Happy birthday. And then um, the dies with the rainbow set, it comes with four, well, it's really three, but it's four clouds. So you get these two clouds, and then this one is um, together. They're, they punch out separate, but it's together. So I already cut those out right here. So some of them I'm going to glue straight down and some I'm gonna pop up, right? Because clouds are not always in alignment with each other. I really wish on this Facebook Live we can actually have re um, conversation. Like, it would be nice to, I could hear you laughing at my mistake or my mishap with the machine and we could have a little conversation going. I suppose you can do that on Zoom, but it's harder to have public. All right. So I'll just have to know that you're laughing along with me. All right. And then that one goes there. So there we go. So that is one. But really what I wanted to show you is if you cut out the base of the white, you can put them all in alignment. And I have more samples to show you. Let's see which ones. So like this one. I did, um, it's really the same card, right? Except for I used a pool party base and I used, um, this is the rainbow paper that was for celebration a month or two ago. And then I used different, um, because I have all those pieces of my rainbows, I did it out of order, on purpose. <laughs> um, and so that's just kind of fun. And then the clouds, these clouds are from the Give It A Whirl dies. So you get three bigger clouds. You get a whole lot of things. I've, I still haven't used this set for the intended purpose of making spinny cards. And I think we might do that at club next month. I have to play with it. But I like how you get stars and hearts in these fun circles. Um, but I love these clouds. And this is returning in the catalog, uh, the annual catalog. So um, I don't want to say there's no rush, but you don't have to freak out about getting it right away. But I love the clouds. And then this is the same card again, 
but I used a different background rainbow paper. I softened it up. I didn't want it too busy, so I did a pool party edge. I used these same clouds. I just put them down lower so it's all the same. And then I'm going to run out of room. These, there we go. This one, I actually cut out um, all from one piece of paper and I glued them in. But really, you don't have to. You could just put a base and then just put that cut out the white template on top. And so it would all be one piece underneath. So you could do it either way. And then this one I did with those white strips. So I used just kind of the reverse of this one. Because um, when I cut out this one, you know, you left over all those white. So you, you can use that or you can just use it as a white base. So this one I used dimensionals on top, but this one I just left it. So anyways, they have lots of options. And one more that I'm going to make a shaker card. So let me move these the side for a second get all my supplies Ooh. so you can also make a shaker card with the rainbows so it's very similar to this one except for I put a window sheet which we're going to do underneath and then I put some of these little sequins inside and then you can do it, a shaker card. I'm going to actually do it with a different background paper. I think I'm going to do it with this paper. I figured that might be kind of fun. So, yeah. So I have this is four by, what is it? Four by five and a quarter, a standard layer. I have, I wasn't sure if we'd want white or blue, so I cut two out. We'll decide that later. Um, I did the bigger clouds because this is a bigger cloud background. So I already cut those out. And then I have my um, card base. All right, so what we need to do is we're gonna cut um, that out with, because this won't fit in the mini machine, we're gonna use the old Big Shot, which is works very similar to the Stampin' Cut and Boss machine that Stampin' Up! now sells. I'm going to cut it in the same fashion that I did that white card. I'm just going to kind of put it not quite in the center because I want room for my little scallop border to go there. You know, see all the dust on this. But I kept it because when I have events again, that way I'd have two cutting machines. All right, so these... rainbow pieces, right? I can use them for something else. So I just put them in my bucket of rainbow pieces. And this is what we want. So I'm gonna use a window sheet, which come, you get two pieces, 12 by 12. So a 12 by 12. And this is what I do, because they're see-through. I kind of, if I have, I had pre-cut some for a um, project and then I discovered it was the wrong size. So I just leave the envelopes in here so I can see them because otherwise they'll get lost. Um, and then I need, to, I need to fix my cutting machine. Let's see. These pop up on purpose. So I just, this needs to be the same size as my paper. So four by, I think it was just a little too wide. Four by, I think it's five and a quarter. Oh, it's a quarter inch too big on both sides. Okay. Now, if you don't have window sheets, but you still want to make one, fingerprints on there, um, the all the photopolymer stamps now come they come on these are sandwiched between a thick acetate and then a thinner one right so the stamps are together and now they have which i'm really happy they have the um like the the 
marking of what the stamp is, so now I just put it directly on the case. So you could use the thicker acetate as a window sheet. It's exactly the same thing. Now mine has fingerprints all over it, so I would wash it before I used it. But in case you want to make a shaker card and you don't have the window sheets, you can use those. I just kind of store them in a pile. I don't, not sure really what I'm going to do with them yet, but that's one option. So I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to glue down the window sheet. Again, it's the same size as my paper. Oh my God, I got fingerprints all over this one too. All right, and now I'm going to, we have to raise it because we're gonna put all this uh, sequins inside. What would work best, which I'm, you can see almost out of, are these foam strips. So they come, I think they come in 12 inches long and they're like a quarter inch or maybe even a little smaller than a quarter inch strip. Those work ideal. But as you can see, I don't have any more. So what you can do, you could do two things. You could put dimensionals, you could line up dimensionals, hexagon by hexagon all the way across because you need to cover the whole thing because if you have gaps, then the sequins will fall through. Or I have um, foam adhesive sheets. So it's the same thing as a dimensional and a foam strip, but it's just in the square. So I'm gonna create my own strips. So I'm just gonna cut quarter inch. Now it's not gonna, um, it's gonna stay on there, but it cuts it. And that's, and you'll see when I peel them off, that's fine. You could always, you know, cut a couple um, passes to make it cut really well. And I think, that, I think that's how it eliminated. So it's all cut on there, but it's still attached to the bottom. And you can cut them as thick or as thin as you want, but then I'm gonna peel them off. And then I'm going to Put it on there. It's a little bit longer than I need. So I'm gonna trim this, but save it because we're gonna need that piece. I'll just put, stick it on here. We will need that again. Oop, that one ripped. That's okay. Put it back together. It doesn't matter. It's all on the inside. No one's going to see it. Put this in. Oh, my things keep sliding off. Okay, and that's the right length. And then this one. Oh, I must. When I was doing my sample, I must have cut it in the other direction. And then I'm just gonna cut it. So I'll just use those strips for another project. We'll save them. Maybe later. Okay, there we go. All right, so you wanna have it so there's no gaps. It looks messy here, but it's gonna look just nice, just fine on here. So I'm gonna use, I bought these called Sequins for Everything. They're in the annual catalog. And you get four different colors. I'm gonna carefully open it up. And then actually, I'm just gonna open this up so it doesn't, it's a little flatter. And I'm just gonna put like, just a pinch of each color in here. Okay. And it's like a little static. And I just want them towards the middle, or at least away from the edges, because when I um, stick down my piece, I just want them to all be on the inside. Okay. So now I'm going to peel off the backing. I think they are all peeled off. I'm going to put this down. Where's that where the sticking? Let's 
seal up my edges. And then there's a sugar card and they move around. And then I'm just going to assemble like, oh, actually I'm gonna close this so I don't mess it up. Assemble just like we did the other cards. So I have, uh, I have either, let's see, a pool party. We'll go there and I have my clouds. We'll go down here or I can do white. I think we'll do pool party. All right. I'm gonna have sequins everywhere. <laughs> I am not a neat stamper at all. Okay, so that gets glued down there. Oh, I did it opposite. Oh, shoot. Well, too late. That's all right. I wanted to have the swirlies on the other side. Oh, I could have moved it. I actually did that on here and I put it straight so on the rainbows. So if I was thinking, because now you can see how crooked I am. Oh well, that's fine. I'm gonna put some clouds down. Put one cloud down here. I'm going to put dimensionals somewhere. I'm gonna use the piece left over. that up here and then I could either let's see this is gonna drive me crazy I'm gonna fix that I'll probably put another strip on there I could put happy birthday on the front but I think because it's so busy I'm not going to I'll write the happy birthday on the inside so I think I'll just put a cloud right there because I have that one other piece that we cut on the dimensionals like that. Alrighty, so that is how I did the shaker card with the rainbow strips, stripes. All right, so let me try to get all of these cards so you can see them. Oh, there's the dimensionals. All right, try to put the the similar ones together. Let's do the same. Oh, oh, that actually works. Look at there's eight. So now I have a bunch of birthday cards for the springtime. And they can be like thinking of you or, you know, they can be anything. Oh, for this shaker card, I forgot I had a, I just had leftover striped paper. So actually we'll just do that quick. I'll put the cloud paper on the inside too. Maybe. I took a walk today before this. Maybe I got too much fresh air. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so there are some rainbow cards. And then, um, again, I'll mention um, I'm doing that mystery host. Um, I say party, but it's just all online. Um, if anyone who places an order, um, I think I started it yesterday or the day before, between then and uh, midnight tomorrow night, will be entered in to be the mystery host, um, and we'll get all the stamp and rewards for all the orders. So I think we're up to like $33 right now in hostess rewards, but I'm certainly hoping to get that um, much higher. And, uh, oh, Tracy, I see why you said oops. I didn't even notice. Are you kidding? I did a big oops here. Um, but that's fine. You guys see real stamping. Maybe I should call myself the real stamper. <laughs> like reality of making mistakes. Um, so anyways, I, so I have the mystery host. So any orders placed uh, using this host code will be entered in to be the mystery host. And I will let everyone know, or I'll let, the, the, I'll let everyone know who ordered, uh, who the kind of the winner or the mystery host is on the first, which is Thursday, I think. Um, and then you can um, tell me what you want as your free products. So, and then the other thing um, expiring tomorrow is that 20% off sale of the mini machine and the, um, I think it's 13 different bundles in that um, 
this one is one of them. And again, I love the happy birthday and the thanks so much and the hello. Uh, I love the script, so I use that quite a lot. Okay, I think I need a cup of tea. I got all like flustered here, um, but we made it. So that's what's important. I will be back live next Wednesday. Um, I'm thinking maybe we'll make an Easter basket. I haven't really done a whole lot. I guess we made tulip cards last week, but I'm thinking maybe we'll make an Easter basket. A super easy one um, that all you really need is a paper cutter. You don't need any dies or anything. Um, so I think that would be a good one. All right, Kathy, thanks for joining. Uh, who else was on here? Kim and Debbie and Susan all watched live. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, so um, do what I'm going to do. Go grab a cup of tea and maybe a cookie. Um, and have a great and wonderful day. And I will see you certainly next week, if not before, online with emails. All right. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye.